Okay, gonna head back to Santo Domingo to continue doing a few side quests and stuff back there. We got kind of pulled back <laughs> into the Badlands. So we're gonna go and sell a bunch of our guns that we picked up doing quests. Uh, we've got about 65,000 eddies at the minute, which is building up quite nicely. We'll go take care of this Cyber Psycho, then we'll go and check out some side quests. We won't be doing the Beat on the Brat quests, but there is some other stuff. There is some other stuff on the way. And I guess we'll kind of finish that off by attempting this Cinnamon quest. Um, yeah, maybe do Claire's quest, which is like uh, street races, right? So... We've got our beautiful new car. Um, which we'll admire. Um, oh yes. This song is my jam. Oh wow, look at these. Uh, is this like a power plant or like a solar energy? station. What's the headlight like on this? There we go. Yeah, um so yeah, this uh, I've no this Cinnamon quest. I mean, we'll read the uh, journal entry before we go there, if we even get there in this episode. But um, from what I remember, Wakako told us we need to zero somebody who is a criminal, right? I think. I absolutely love this car, man. Now don't crash it. Hey! Uh, I missed the message. A car. Yo, got a Quadra 66 up for sale. Previous owner was a so uh, SoCal and 6th Street Forever type who liked to slam the gas racing the streets at night until he slammed right into a corpo. Yeah, can't say that ended well for him. But don't worry, the fender and windshield are brand new and the ride's in prime shape. All it needs is a new owner. Okay, that's pretty sick. Although, I don't like... Has it got like, I don't know, a paint job? But well, we can change the paint job, right? How much? 52. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I, I suppose it's an older car, though. Well, it's like a 10 year old car. Quadra 66, right? 2066. Oh, Night City, baby. Night City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News. Hello, and Jillian. This is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to protective firearms. Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. What's next for Pacifica? The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Kang Tao recently expressed interest in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of constructing a new server and logistics center. Interesting. The city government has openly considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to eradicating the district's criminal presence. Today's final story is an unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to 1,000 euro dollars per dog per month. 
Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to 40,000 euro dollars. Oh. Thank you for tuning in to the N54 local news. Have a pleasant day. All right. Let's go in there, uh, sell some guns. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, we made 5,000 eddies from that. Very nice. And I'm going to break down this uh, Yukimura because uh, the smart pistols I'm really not a fan of and we don't even have the uh, required cyberware for it at the minute, so we'll get some crafting components for that. We'll get rid of this knife as well. Sweet. Oh, wait, I wasn't finished. Everyone's pissing. Right, let's head to this cyber psycho mission. I was actually quite listening, enjoying Royal Blue, especially at night. Obviously, it doesn't quite match this van. But, uh, just uh, nice and chill, right? Don't disturb me. Oh, I missed the turning already. Here we are. Strange place for a cyber cycle attack. I love this car, man. I've loved pretty much all the cars we've had, to be honest. I just like how bespoke everything looks on the interior. And I just love being able to change the car, the the paint jobs now as well, right? Regina. Oh, I think we've already got a message for this actually. Working on a construction site has its perks. Breeze on your face, sun on your shoulders, no creepy corpo smell, and tangible results can show off. You can show off to the world. It's good, honest work. Of course, Night City's always got a way to fuck things up. Okay, I don't think we've read this for Rancho Coronado, so let's do it. Some insist that Rancho Coronado isn't a district of Night City, but in fact, a little town situated at its edge. It could seem that way at first sight, with its identical townhouses reminiscent of the classic 20th century inner city suburb, quaint stores, bars, a park, school and subway station. Sounds like the American dream, right? Well, that's exactly what the land and factory owners of Arroyo thought when they designed the neighbourhood. Every building was intended for workers living near the respective plants. Corporations even made sure that Rancho Coronado had its own law enforcement since the NCPD couldn't be relied on. Rancho Coronado now mostly houses middle and higher ranking corporate employees from nearby factories and offices who wanted to get away from the city. Residents from other districts like to joke that it resembles more of a hamster cage. Everyone in Rancho Coronado has everything they need in one place. You've got your wheel, your water, your food. <laughs> what more could you ask for? Right. And where's Regina? This cat doc. V got a fight at a construction site. Dude responsible is heavily ironed. Heard something about lasers. Oh. You managed to get him alive. 
be a great study candidate, sending you the deets. One of the workers went psycho, started smashing up the construction site. Seems some of the workers tried to stop him, but their little poly one-shots couldn't pierce that exoskeleton of his. Anyway, they either ran or got added to the construction. If you catch my drift, go check it out for me. Oh, is this another mech? Yeah, hit that quick save, Matt. Whoa! Be careful, dude. There's people everywhere. All right. Um, I feel like a vertical entrance will benefit us here. Corpse, likely an employee shot with a heavy projectile. Oh! Oh, you are... Whoa! Oh my god, this is so awesome. Holden McCoy. Hang in there, Holden. A Merc as well. Another Merc. Has he seen me? Right, if we hit cripple movement and then we jump down and shoot his weak spot, we can do a ton of damage, but let's hit a breach first. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. Do not panic. This will reduce uh, uh, mass vulnerability will help as well. 7A, 55, no, 55, 1C, 55, no. Boom. Who else did I breach?
just have to spam. I will be content with that. The other guy still died, though. Alright. I gotta say, that Mary of yours sure has a head on her shoulders. She got you here at the least last possible moment, your body's rejecting the implants and no wonder it's not ready for them. They're military grade, you can't use them without proper, the proper training. Christ, they're not for civilian use at all. I can give you a script for painkillers, but don't forget, the pain is your body's way of warning you. If you ignore it and keep using that chrome, you could cause permanent damage to your spine. You might be able to take it off that exoskeleton now, but if you break your spine, you'll never move on your own again. Yeah. Holden McCoy. One of my workers went cyber cycle thanks to your fucking exoskeleton. He's out here destroying the whole build the whole building. My life's work. Either you send a response crew to dispose of him or I'll have to call the police. And hey, I wouldn't want the NCPD on my ass asking questions neither of us want me to answer. Ah, oh, bloody hell, mate. That should be blown up really, shouldn't it? Music won't stop. Cheap suit appears to be a corpo shot with a heavy projectile. I don't know why the music won't stop. Let me be plain, you've been in this biz long enough to know it's a rough way to make a living. This job should toughen you up. But instead, you keep coming to me looking for a shoulder to cry on. Sob on. Now, most companies just swap out their workers when they... Hang on, I can't put up with this music. Thank you, game. Here, yeah, I tried to show you some compassion. I even rounded up some gear for all of you at a decent price. And what do I get in return? Ungrateful lunks like you just think about yourselves, your own comfort, company be damned. But it's thanks to me you get decent implants and a low rate loan to cover them. And I did it for you out of the kindness of my heart so you didn't have to waste your time going from bank to bank filling out forms you can't even read. But do I get so much as a thank you? Never. And you know if it weren't for Mary and Charlie, I would have kicked you out on your arse a long time ago. So try thinking about them for once and get back to work instead of crying to me. This is construction for crying out loud. For out loud. This is no place for sissies and crybabies. But hey, if you think otherwise, you can go ahead and pack your shit up. And don't dare show your face here again. I mean, show it once a month when you come back to pay your installments. Plus extra to cover that employee discount you won't be enjoying no more. So it was Chase Coley, the, the guy. Anila Pace. I already told you, I didn't. don't give a shit about no warnings or restrictions or special terms of use. I think we both know you're not about to give me a warranty on this shit, so don't make me pay out my ass for nothing. Save the scop and let's do biz. Don't matter if they're salvaged from all military bases or fished out of some back alley ripper's dumpster. Shit. Good dig them up out of an Indian burial ground for all I care, long as they work. Hydraulics should be able to handle two metric tons, nothing else matters. My people will buy whatever I sell them. So just get your people to give me what I ordered. Jeez. It was dodgy equipment that made him go cyber psycho. Yes, the voodoo boy message. Of liberties. What was your name? Your chase calling. All right. All right. I made a bit of a mess of that, but I'm very squishy. Am 
Managed to take the Cyber Psycho alive, though he sure put up a fight, sending you the deets. Really glad you got him alive. Poor guy almost completely spiralled out before he even realised what was happening. My, my, now that's some creative management. Seems this developer had no problem creating a wide range of business needs and solutions. I'm sure his long-standing connections with weapons dealers, the NCPD and other shady souls help enormously. And if a certain need isn't great enough, well, there's always the usual solution of arm twisting and kneecapping. Key to success remains flexibility, especially of the moral sort. Guess even pneumatic arms can't lift morale in the toxic workplace. Alright. We got a level up. Level 28. Beautiful. Okay, now what level do we need to be to craft legendary items? 18. So we're ways away from that. I don't know if there's a max level. Right, the thing we really needed was this. The workshop perk. So I'm going to start pumping, uh, pumping levels into that. I don't know what the max level is. Hmm. Should I put a few points into reflexes? I don't know. Let's just go tech. Whew. Oh, there's that Quadro. We can easily afford that. I don't know. I've got enough to... I've nearly... I'm like $400 short of buying that Shion, so... Probably my preference. Uh, this is where we'll head next. And I know what? It's weird. Walking around um, Santo Domingo is a little different. Because it's so industrial. I guess it's a bit like walking around north side, right? Hey, nice van. They're great. blue and chill. So like when we get these kind of blue side quests they tend to be have a bit more fun, not fun, but they tend to be a bit more random, right? Whereas the gigs, the gigs tend to be a little bit more, you know, they have like a predetermined style to them, whether it's like thievery or assassination or whatever. What the hell happened here? Yeah, this is worth checking out, right? Man, I, I, I quite like classical music and stuff. I love a bit of piano. So I think we'll be listening to Royal Blue for a bit. What the hell happened here? It's a shoot, straight up shootout. Well, this makes me feel like a bit of a scumbag. Oh, there's 6th Street, right? Okay, got a Mackinaw waiting to be sold. Oh, that's what River was driving, right? You'll find it at the attached cohorts. Watch out for turns, because this thing drives like a fucking boat. <laughs> it's almost like it wants to crash into street lamps and pedestrians. Oh, it's a real gas guzzler still. It's worth it for the kicks. Yeah, but how much? 33 grand. I wonder if we could get Panams, or if there are skins for nomad ones on that so kind of feel i don't know if we've got all of the nomad offers here yet there might be more for us attention a convoy has been scheduled to transport inmate seth miller 
convicted of three counts of first degree murder from Rancho Coronado to the municipal courthouse in the Glen. The inmates has ties to the criminal organization known as the Sixth Street Gang, which operates out of the Rancho Coronado district. A red alert has been issued for the duration of the inmates' transport, mandating the escort of a heavily armored and armed security detail. Oh my god, is that a legendary? Uh, I need to use these Kenshins. All oh, right. Uh, nice. Ooh. I can dress up like a police officer. Well, that is a bit grim. Uh, I really want to try one of these tech pistols that's like a one-shot style tech pistol. It's just they're not doing much damage, are they? Especially compared to these things. Um, have I got enough to craft the legendary version of this, uh, the epic version of this uh, chaos just yet? No, I'm still a bit short. Just want like a sleek tech pistol like the one Takimura shot <laughs> Dexter with. Uh, I've only got one more to craft, right? Yeah, I can get the legendary contagion. Let's do it. Quick hacks capable of spreading to multiple targets can jump one more time. Oh, we leveled up our crafting. Nice. We've been a lot more close now. I'm not sure if we unlocked anything. Beautiful. I really want to use a tech pistol. And I've not been using the sword as much. So I'm just going to give this uh, Kenshin a try. Alongside my other tech weapon arsenal. Do we want? Do we really want a scope? I feel like it distracts a little bit on these pistols, but let's just hope. Oh, this is two shots as well, then. So the chaos will be just like this then. Good to know. Okay, I'll try that for a little bit. I do feel like we should be walking in this episode, you know. I know it's quite far away to be honest, but... We've got some NCPD scanner missions. And we need to level up as well. I'm just going to pile some points into this so we can get uh, some crafting component stuff. Well, let's do some walking. It's just so beautiful, right? Okay, there's a scanner mission over here. Sixth Street. Now we're gonna get like noticed straight away, right? Leave it. I beg you. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's hit a cyber psychosis. Let's breach first. Then we'll con then we can try out this pistol a little bit. 55, 7, 8. No. Yeah. Guys, fast. Got them all. Contagion just wiped everyone. That's crazy. Uh oh, maybe not. I like these tech pistols, man. I really do. Sent to 47 users, Jack Driver, Pablo Silva chose to stand with the radical traitors. For years, he did the corpse bidding, took orders from the enemies of this fine nation. He and anyone else like him deserves only one thing, death. Do unto him what he and the others did to Morton. For the red, white and blue, the time for change, the time for change has come. God, nationalists. Well, they're 6th Street, right? That's their MO, I suppose. Eddie's conversation. A new tank top. Salma, grab everything out of the safe, take the kids and leave the city. What happened? Salma, you know what you have to do, just do it. I am, but tell me what's going on. Pablo, Gunner's people zeroed Morton. Shit's going down, it's a fucking coup. Oh my god. I told you to drop this job. Seriously, Salmon, now I'll be waiting for, for you. Outside the city, in our spot? Yeah, be careful, please. If I'm not there in two hours, go without me. Got something I need to settle. What? Your safety. Please, just come here. I'm just meeting a guy from the NCPD to drop off some docks, and that, then, it'll, then I'll be over. Keep waiting where you are, okay? Okay. Pablo, everything okay? I haven't left yet. Pablo, hey, I'm worried. Write something, anything. Seven missed calls. Oh, that is really grim. All right, beautiful. Guys, we've got a new tank top, so... You get any more tech pistols? This is a tech pistol, right? It's a Kenshin just like this one. Oh, it just, oh it's better though. It's chemical damage instead though. It's a bit slower to shoot, to be honest, but... It feels a little bit more controlled. 
Yeah, let's stay on foot for a bit. I don't, I don't like feeling like I'm rushing. I just want to spend as much time in this game as. Little press um, <laughs> photo mode. Sorry. Although I think we have to cross a highway, so. Hey V. <laughs> nice. Just wanted to update you on Randy. He's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe, but it looks like everything's going to be all right. I can't you can't imagine how grateful I am. I'm sending you a still of Randy. I hope it won't be long before he can thank you in person. Yeah, me too. Can we text the back? Nope. Oh man, don't make me walk up here. Surely there's a way to walk across. Yeah. You get some nice views of the city, although the rain is obscuring it a little bit. So built by the factory owners, everywhere is kind of really similar. Kind of like an old school thing, right? This used to happen in in Europe in the industrial during the industrial revolution, right? Factory owners would build entire towns meant to ho house the factory workers, and they'd have everything they ever needed in the town. It was very much like that in England. He's a uh, Sixth Street, right? Oh, the guards. Don't really know what they're guarding at the minute, so. You're a security guard. Valence camera. I mean, there's no gig here or anything. So. Those eddies were to get us the fuck out of here! Eh, uh, it's always next year. Sure, whatever. Hmm. Do not enter the I don't want to jump the shark on a quest here. I know I know it's like nice to discover things naturally, but after that experience I had where the quest just wouldn't work without um, a fixer ringing me. I don't want to do that again. It's an Arasaka building, wow. We're in Arroyo now. Oh god, we really don't want to be here. These Arasaka buildings are so ominous, man. Just the whole architecture of the Arasaka stuff.
Alright, this is an NCPD scanner thing. An assault. Mind me. Got it. Crap. Let's hit a quick breach. No reboot optics, really? Got someone on your tail, coward! What the Wow. <laughs> we are just murking everyone. Tony Falsetti, 6th Street, True Patriots, Proud Nationalists. Some of you might not remember me. Ten years ago I landed in the can fighting our proud nation's enemies, but now I'm back and I'm sad to say I don't recognise the 6th Street I see before me. My 6th Street would never work with the corpse, and now this. Money from Militech, weapons from Militech, jobs from Militech. I ask you, my fellow citizens, is this true patriotism? Patriotism isn't about sh strutting around, chest puffed out, a uniform on your back and a gun at your hip. No, patriotism is a way of life. A difficult uphill battle full of obstacles at every turn. It means sacrifice, it means fighting the systems that want to put us down. We can't have 6th Street on a corporate leash. Now can you fight for freedom and submit to slavery in the same breath? Our goal is a free United States, not a playground for corporate scum. You can't haul yourselves out to the corpse. The current leadership of our organization is sick, and the disease is greed. They've got no respect for you or themselves, so now's the time to rise up. Fight for what you believe in. A house divided against itself can't stand. Give me liberty or give me death. USA. USA. I'm trying to find the radio, sorry. I like this pistol, man, I have to say. And we like pain. Uh, it's so quiet here at the minute, right?
Alright, not far off this now. The city, when you, when you like can't see everything in the background, the city just feels so fast. Like in the rain, you know, and you can actually you can't even see the top of the mega building. Like so awesome. Yeah, we're 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 so powerful now in terms of net running. It's uh, scary, right? Mega building four. It's got like warning signs around it. What did that say? Oh, there was like an E. Oh. No entry or something? Is that what this mission's going to be about? That'd be interesting. Maybe the, the mega building's like, we've been locked down or something. Yeah, it's cool, right? The city streets are so quiet around here. It's an industrial district, district, I guess, right? There wouldn't just be people strolling about. Besides gangers. A little bit of shelter. <laughs> Man, this game is so unbelievably beautiful. It's just... Yeah, look, like it's like there's a problem with this mega building. Oh, I think we're moving away from it though, for this quest. gives you so much Blade Runner vibes in the night with the rain. All these huge buildings. <laughs> so good. Right, what have we got here? Oh, there's a nice little market here. See you around. And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Hello. Um. I'll have a chromantico. Need a little pick me up. You got chromantico? The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink spunky monkey? Way better than. You freeze up a lot? One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Do I? All right, fine. I'll help the little guy. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. I don't have a very high body stat or reflex stat, so this might be a problem. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback! Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? What's your problem? Can I get the details? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? New pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Zeta Tech. Bitch just leaves and doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. And what? Now she's too good for us? 
double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shanaz a grown-ass woman now! You should follow her example! Yeah, leave him alone. You're getting back at corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Well, that says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? Uh, I'll blow your gonkass brains out. I can break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, then you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the bitch everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. That's right. You know how many gonks you offed already? And I ain't even talking solo. Lost their damn minds. Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. <laughs> it was this about Zeta Tech? Just between the two of us. You're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stems. You're not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. You all right? Are they gonna come back? Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. <laughs> Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. Give me the bike! Oh. Come on, dude. Good. What is that smell? Is that fruit? Or wait, dish soap? <laughs> ah, specialty of the house. My little apricot surprise. When she ferments right, she's actually a local favorite. Looking for a pick-me-up. Got any chromanticore? Boy, do I, Chief. What don't I have? Would have touched that stuff myself, but hey, hey. Customer is king, am I right? Sure. There's nothing really decent here, right? Cheers, Five mate. Okay, I really need to say this. What? Selling threads or collecting them? Hard to tell at a glance. You beg on the street, they tell you to get a job, you get a job, they make fun of you. Make up your damn minds, people! Ellie? Is that you? That sounded like Ellie. Selling threads or collecting them? Hard to tell at a glance. Bag on the street, they tell you to get a job, you get a job, they make fun of you. Make up your damn minds, people! That sounds like Ellie from The Last of Us, doesn't it? But it probably isn't. What are you selling? Anything you can see. I don't know, man. <laughs> sounded like Ellie to me. Oh, another depressing check on the prices at the clothing shop. That's pretty good. Santa Muerte. Right. Um, yeah, I'll, when we get those armadillo things, they're usually worth it. Stamina reduction, no. Uh, I can't see any cool jacket. Oh, no, no, we've got some edge runners. Old Edge Runner and Sixth Street Edge Runner. It's very expensive, dude. That might go with that top we had. Six, dude, six thousand. I realise I've got quite a lot of money, but <laughs> Jesus. Is 
Is that the same as that? It looks the same. Maybe it just has a like, different print on it. Anyway, uh, I can't I can't justify spending this kind of money on clothes. <laughs> I really can't. See you later, Ellie. Need to wash my hands. Right, I don't I don't think I need a Oh, there's a gun shop nearby. Um I've got a ton I need to sell. Hey, come on. Oh. Hello. Is it true more and more people in Arroyo are getting sick? People have been reporting strange symptoms. Spontaneous burns, mm. seizures, almost epileptic. All eyes are on the power plant. Is that, I wonder if that's why that mega building's got all those hazard signs on it. What you got in stock? Nice variety? Anything worth looking at? I have... things. Now, I think I've got the crafting spec for this. Could be wrong. We need epic crafting components. How much do they cost? So to buy like an absolute ton of epic crafting components, I think three grand is perfectly reasonable. We need rare. Sure. This pile. Um, beautiful. Cheers, mate. I'm liking these tech pistols for sure. For sure. So, yeah, that's much better. So we could get this chaos pistol completely upgraded, and that's the, that's the kind of tech pistol I want. And um, it's still not that high damage wise, is it? Yeah, it's, it's much better than this. So let's get rid of you. Well, let's give this a try. Um, I like tech, I like tech pistols. Wait, wait. There we go. And uh, the headshots were doing like loads of extra damage, right? Increased damage to limbs, crit chance. Uh, yeah, let's let's do rate of fire. That'd be that's pretty good. I think that'd be better for a shotgun. So. All right, where's this gun shop? All right, guys. Let's just finish this, okay? Hi, man. You know the night city? So, uh, we'll talk to this guy. Any iron I shouldn't put on my shopping list? Hmm, well, let me think. Budget arms is the obvious offender. Their cheap plastic parts give them a high recoil, low range. I could go on. If I were you, I'd watch out for Rostovic products. Firepower is unbeatable, but somehow they love to get jammed when you're in a tight spot. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave that episode there. Uh, I'm going to go and sell all my guns here. We'll pick it up from here. And uh, maybe head to Claire in the next episode, I think. Is that the closest thing? We've got beat on the bra, but we're nowhere near strong enough. I might give it a try and like load scum it if if I can't do it. But yeah, we could. Uh, we, I think I'd like to continue walking, to be honest. Um, as we kind of mosey on over to this cinnamon quest, I don't like that it's right next to a gig, but I guess we can keep them separate. There's a bar here that might be cool to check out on the way. There's some NCPD scanner stuff on the way that'll be fun. So we'll pick it up from here next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. I don't know why this has gone mad. There we go. Just, just remember everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.